There are a lot of folks who are considering switching from Twitter to Mastodon. And for many, the experience of going from this on Twitter, even though there's a giant ad right there, to this uh, hasn't been great. The default user experience of Mastodon uh, isn't quite there yet, especially the default web app and the default mobile app. Thankfully, because Mastodon is this federated open source platform, already developers are building some really great clients for Mastodon to make your Mastodon experience better. And on the web, my favorite is Elk, elk.zone. Um, you can see it feels a lot like Twitter. And this alone has transformed my usage of Mastodon. I find I'm using it way more on the web. And honestly, that it's better. You don't have all of this garbage with ads and the sidebar and who to follow. It's just very nice and clean. And uh, I would say it's one of those scenarios where Mastodon is actually a better user experience when you're using Elk. All right, and over here on mobile, here's the default Mastodon application. And again, it's not that bad, but it's definitely been difficult for some folks to get into. There's actually two really great apps that have just been released that again have made me enjoy Mastodon so much more. The first is Ice Cubes, which is actually open source. And uh, I really like it. You've got this nice interface for creating a new post, really nice scrolling experience, really nice profile views. Notifications are all in one spot. You can explore and find users and trending tags. And it also has a separate place for your DMs, which I find really nice. Currently, this one is free on the iOS store, so highly recommend this one if you're looking for a nice experience. Also brand new and getting a lot of attention is Ivory by Tapbots, the makers of the popular Tweetbot app. And just like Tweetbot, uh, Ivory is very well designed, has a lot of the same feel as Tweetbot if you really liked it. You've got, again, a really nice interface for browsing. You can customize your uh, icons here on the bottom. So if you'd prefer to have filters here or you can have your bookmarks here. It also has these stats, which are, again, something they had in Tweetbot, which I really like. It shows you your overall activity, favorites, boosts, replies. If you're like me and you like charts, then Ivory is a good choice for you. A nice little UI touch that they have is that they'll show you at the top here who has boosted a post, which is like a retweet. In this case, Don Melton has retweeted this George Lakoff post. And uh, yeah, it's just a nice little touch. The one thing I don't like about um, Ivory is that this icon here at the bottom to create a new post, it always kind of covers uh, the content as opposed to ice cubes where you have that icon in the upper right, which for me is a lot more intuitive. So having tried both, uh, I think I actually like Ice Cubes a little bit better, but I'm paying for Ivory because I want to support indie developers who are building on the Mastodon ecosystem. And it's brand new. It's still an early release. They're, the developers at Tapbots are going to be adding new features as they go along. So a great app and just a great way to support indie devs who are building on the ecosystem who have now been kicked off the Twitter platform. I should mention when I initially signed up for Ivory, I encountered a few errors. My guess is it has to do with Mastodon being overloaded or maybe there's there was a bug, um, but it resolved itself and it's been working flawlessly since then. So if you're looking for a better Mastodon experience and or maybe you tried it and thought, ah, it's not for me, I highly recommend taking a look at Elk on the web. If you're on Android, uh, Elk actually makes a great progressive web app. You can add it to your home screen. Looks great on mobile as well. And on iOS, check out Ivory from Tweetbots and Ice Cubes. Two really nice iOS clients that really improve the Mastodon experience.